lifestyle medicine is the use of lifestyle interventions directed at the treatment, management, and prevention of disease. Hey folks, Dr. Keel here, and I want to take a few minutes to talk about a few ways that you can burn extra calories while at work. How well these suggestions apply certainly depends on your occupation and the level of activity your job demands, but at least a few of these should apply to just about everybody. First thing is walking or biking to work. A 175 pound person burns about 100 calories per mile, assuming that they walk about 3 miles per hour. If you have an opportunity to walk to work, calories burn can add up very quickly. Uh, for example, one of the hospitals I work at is about a quarter mile away, so I burn about 50 calories every time I walk there and back. If it's too far to walk, uh, consider using a bicycle. Second thing is park farther away. If you do drive to work, and let's be honest, most people have to, try parking farther away. Most people park as close as possible, so it's usually not an issue to find a spot in the corner of the lot. Like walking, this will increase your calorie expenditure during the commuting aspect of your work. Take the stairs. A 160-pound person will burn 5 calories for every flight of stairs they climb. So if you walk up and down 10 flights of stairs per day, uh, that's at least an extra 50 calories. And obviously, if you walk up more stories multiple times a day, that will add up very quickly. Uh, stand up when possible. Standing actually burns more calories than sitting. So if you're in a meeting or at the desk or some environment where you typically sit, consider standing. Uh, it actually increases your cal calorie expenditure by 50% when compared to being seated. And, of course, you can buy desks that are vertically adjustable so you can stand up while at your computer. If you do have to be seated, uh, consider using a stability or balance ball as a chair. Uh, this can increase your seated calorie expenditure by as much as 6%. According to a Harvard study, a 185-pound person burns 156 calories per hour seated. Over the course of an eight-hour day, this adds up to more than 100 calories. Additionally, it requires you to use your core muscles to maintain balance, which increase your physical health and help tone your abs. You can also try a mini stepper under your desk. They use resistance for your legs to do work. One study published suggests that you can increase your calorie expenditure by as much as 100 calories per hour using this device. And you can find them online for less than $100. Wear ankle weights. You can buy adjustable ankle weights for relatively cheap. I saw some starting as low as $15. These make the work of walking around uh, burn more calories. And obviously, the more weight and the more you walk, the more calories you will burn. Just to mention, if you do have any joint diseases, uh, ankle weights may not be the best option for you as you could be stressing out any problems you already have. Exercise during your lunch break. This could mean walking around the building, or it could mean if you have enough time to actually go to the gym. Either way, you probably don't spend your entire lunch break eating or working, so use the rest of that time to burn a few extra calories. And as a bonus, if you can get a real workout in, you'll have more time to do other things in the evening. Take advantage of your employee fitness benefits. Uh, this sounds obvious, but it may not be. Many companies are becoming more aware of the impact of unhealthy folks on their workforce productivity and promoting healthy behaviors for their employees. This often includes either access to a gym while you're at work or discounted membership to a gym nearby. And if you don't have one of those perks, try talking to your boss about it. They may just say yes. Bring your fitness gear to work. This could either be dumbbells or bands or something in that ballpark. And keep them available at your desk. There's a lot of exercises you can do while you read an email or listen to a voicemail or something like that. Or you can just do sets between tasks. Either way, you can burn some extra calories there. If you do travel for work, plan ahead. For those who do travel, having a regular fitness routine can be very difficult. Uh, make sure to bring your gym gear with you. Check with the hotel you're staying at. Make sure they have a gym. If they don't, switch hotels. Also consider buying some resistance bands. They're light and easily pack in luggage and allow you to work out from your hotel room. Also, getting others involved can be helpful. Uh, that extra camar camaraderie can go a long way when you're trying something new. Exercising is something that most people could use more of, and you probably won't have too, trouble, too much trouble recruiting more people while at work. And this new group can then find times during the day, or maybe even when you're not at work, to increase exercise. Consider a treadmill desk. This obviously isn't going to work for everybody, but if you can do it, you can really burn extra calories. Mayo Clinic researchers estimate that walking on a treadmill while at work for two to three hours a day can actually help you shed as many as 66 extra pounds per year. And finally, uh, drink your coffee black. A cup of black coffee has around five calories, which is pretty negligible. Adding sugar and cream adds a lot of extra calories, around 30 to 60 calories each per tablespoon, depending on what you're using. And I estimate that over the course of a year, that can add up to as many as 10 fewer pounds of calories consumed.